Good afternoon. We are in the garage again today as I am here so that I can review, kind of give my thoughts on this fiery red brand synthetic winch rope. If you've seen all of my other videos, I'm sure you saw the last one where I was up at Hurricane Creek and used my winch for the first time. If you haven't seen them, you should go watch them now. If you haven't seen them, you just haven't lived. So the good folks at Vic Off Road reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like you to kind of do a little bit of review and, and check out this new winch rope that we've got going on and give us your thoughts, see what you think. So they sent this out to me and I was very impressed. I think it's a very good quality product. Uh, I don't have, you know, let's say every brand of winch rope sitting here in front of me to compare. But when I compare this 3.8 synthetic rope to the 5.16 rope that came on my worn winch, I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed. Just kind of like everybody else as well, it's got braking strength is higher and it weighs a whole lot less. Uh, I really didn't know, I hadn't done a lot of looking into, I am by far no kind of expert on winches. And so I just assumed, oh, it's a 9,500 pound winch, like the winch cable is gonna be rated for, you know, yay much, at least that much. Turns out, and I'll post up another video of, of my rant about all of this, uh, a little bit later. So the 516 steel cable that came equipped on this worn winch, this is the 9.5 XP. This 516 steel cable has a minimum braking strength of 10,000 pounds. So only barely more than what the winch is rated to. This 3.8 synthetic rope from Fiery Red has a minimum brake strength of 23,809 pounds. That's more than double the braking strength of the steel cable. Wow, right? And not only does it have so much more brake strength, but it is very much easier to use and manipulate and handle, and it is so much lighter weight. Uh, the steel rope, the steel cable, it looks and feels, I'm sure, exactly like you think it does. It's, it's stiff, and it doesn't like to bend, and it doesn't like to contort. Whereas this synthetic rope, woohoo, you could make pretzels with it. It's fantastic. The two cables probably weigh, I don't know, 25 pounds difference. In fact, the end hook here that actually comes installed on this synthetic rope weighs about the same as the whole rope. The rope is very light. I don't know exactly how many pounds it is, but it's very light. As I was installing the rope onto the winch, it was also substantially easier to, to work and manipulate. And but long story short, but I have had to pull the rope off of the winch a couple of times now, having nothing to do with the rope, but the, but the winch failed, and so that's why it's sitting here, and I'm going to have to rebuild the motor on the winch. Not happy about that, but... But the process of removing that steel cable from this drum versus the synthetic rope was wildly different. It is so much easier and so much nicer to work with the synthetic rope. And as well as being easier and lighter and all of these things in between, it's also drastically safer. Uh, the steel cable is firm and it's strong and it has a certain amount of mass to it. So should it break, it has all kinds of kinetic energy as it's bound up and it's stretching and you're pulling on your truck and the truck's in the mud. When that snaps, you better hope you're nowhere near. A steel cable, when broken, can be extremely dangerous. It can damage your vehicle, it can damage you, it could even, under certain circumstances, probably take your life. This synthetic rope, however, doesn't, I mean, I don't know, you can see it from there. It just doesn't have any mass to it, so it can't store that kinetic energy. Should it break, it might, you know, snap and fall down here, and maybe if you've, you know, you're pressing your face up against the rope and you're like, okay, go ahead, run the winch that maybe it slaps you one, right? But what's gonna happen with this rope? Should it snap, it just falls to the ground. It doesn't travel three counties over and kill everyone in between. So the rope itself seems to me to be very high quality. The end of the rope has this, I believe it's about a five foot long uh, sheath that covers the end of it. So this will keep it protected against any mud or debris. When you spool the rope up onto the winch and it's, it's running across the spool here, most of the rope is sort of protected by itself, right? You get, you know, one roll across and then the next one covers that and the next one covers that and the next one covers that. And so most of the length of this rope is actually protected by itself. So this last five feet or so, which should be about the last winding on the top and then the portion that actually comes out and then goes, you know, and sits outside the fair lead, 
This is kind of exposed. There's a couple holes on the bumper so that you can access all of these different parts. It will get a little bit of sun exposure. It's also exposed to water and rain, other chemicals and elements, you know, whatever's going on. Sand, dust, dirt, debris, etc. So having this cover on the rope is very beneficial. And beyond all of that, just the fact that it is fantastic quality, it's lightweight, it's strong, everything else, it's really coming in at a price point that I think all of us can appreciate. Uh, I want to say I'm into this for $110 for the rope itself, and that comes with the end hook already installed on it. I have actually switched out to a different style hook on the end that will hold a D-ring. Uh, I just kind of like these a little bit better, so I switched out the two. But this one here that comes with the rope is every bit the quality of the one that came with the winch from the factory. Also at the same time, I installed this Factor 55 offset fair lead, which apparently these offset fair leads are particularly difficult to find. Uh, Janky has an ARB bumper on the front, and apparently ARB decided to do things differently than the rest of the world, so they mount the winch feet forward instead of feet down, and that causes some issues, and you can't use a standard fair lead, you have to use an offset one like this. I ended up purchasing this Factor 55 unit, and I just couldn't be happier. Man, that thing's nice. Uh, it's a full inch and a half thick. It has very large radius corners on it. Uh, and then also the radius coming to the outside here is very open and large, which is one of the advantages of it being so thick as they can give you that big radius so it doesn't pinch and chafe on the, on the rope. There's not a whole lot you can say, but it is a whole lot lighter than the roller fair lead that you have to use with the steel cable. Uh, so when, whenever you switch over to a synthetic, you need to get yourself a Haas fair lead be it offset like I need or just a standard one that you get wherever else. Uh, but you should go check out these guys at Factor 55. They really build a great product. Uh, I wanna send a, a quick thank you and a shout out to the guys at Vic Off-Road. Very easy to deal with. Uh, they've got a great product here. You should go check them out. Uh, I've put links in the description below for not only Vic Off-Road and their specific winch rope here, but I've also included a link to Factor 55 and this Haas Fairly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this process which by the way, I haven't read any directions or whatever, because again, I'm he's a grown ass man. And like, I don't read directions. I can figure this out. I'm the smartest man in the room all day. So <laughs> the way I'm gonna start this out is I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this cable out. Plug in the winch controller. Whew, that was hard. Might need a break. Good heavy duty gloves. Boom, gloves, okay. <laughs> push that that way, pull a little bit of cable out. Now I can pull this off here. So now you can just grab the cable and pull it out. Okay. That's a mess. Let's get you put on the floor. Let's get me put on the floor and get some tools and start taking this guy apart. Okay, well, that one came out real easy. How about that one? That one's good. These two, not so good. These first two just came right out, no problem. This one, I was able to get it out. This one, I'm not. Um, and we are done talking about this. Since we're done talking about this, I'm gonna cut it off. Always make sure to wear your handy dandy safety glasses. Don't want nothing in ya. This is gonna be really loud. Well, it's gonna be really loud if I can get it to turn on. Why isn't this plugged in? <laughs> okay, now, that one's going to be loud, and I'm going to attack it from this side. Here we go. And just like that, negotiations are over. And I'm not going to touch that because that's, that's going to be really hot. Right there, that's going to be really hot. So, 
now you can see the drum. You can see the cable that goes out here and is attached by one screw right there. Hey! And it's out. Okay. One winch cable removed. New problem. Okay, so new problem here. Bring in. So the winch cable that I have removed, you can see this is the tab that the screw is holding on with. This little screw, whatever, little tiny guy goes through there. It's only just so long. Well, the new winch rope, that is thicker than the screw. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do to replace this screw. I kind of thought this might happen, having looked at pictures of these and looking at pictures of these. <sighs> and my worst fears came true. But it's just a screw, no big deal. Hardware store, or I've got that whole toolbox over there. It's just all junk screws and stuff. I'll go find one in there. And there it is. One. Two. Bugs. Mud. Icky, yucky. So now we see if this will fit. Okay, bolt pattern is correct. What it does need, I need to scrape out some of this rusty schmutz in here. Mmm, rusty schmutz. Mmm, rusty schmutz. So we'll go ahead and get some of that scraped out of there, get that cleaned up a bit. Okay, rusty schmutz out of the way. Well, there may be another problem, but okay. So, <laughs> looks like we're done for the day. So you can see here, and I'll go ahead and switch you into close way up mode, that I am gonna need what's known as an offset hoss. So you can see the way this mounts up down here, the factory bracket is still very much visible and will very much be in contact with the rope. And that's no good. That just won't work. You can see that there's a whole lot of room up to the top here, and I need this to sit up there. So I'm gonna have to get a different fair lead. So the next time you see me, I will likely have a wardrobe change. Uh, I guess that's all for now. Uh, I'll work on getting parts and whatever. We'll get hooked up. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on putting this back together. Uh, so I'm back to today again from, I don't know, a few days ago, and this is today and that was then, and it is what it is, and we've got a different shirt on. Put on the same truck. I'll install the new fair lead, and then I'll get the rope, get that put in, and start winding it in. I think that's... That's about where we're at. Okay, so because this new Factor 55 Fairlead is so much thicker and the mounting surface is so much thicker, I actually switched out and got some longer bolts, uh, you can see there, uh, to accommodate for the extra thickness there. Uh, beyond that, everything's about, about the same there. perfect <laughs> it's perfect it looks great if you guys can see that from that angle you can see it from that angle it's awesome happy expensive but you know what do they say always buy the best you'll uh you'll never be disappointed right i'm not I'm not sure 
best method for uncoiling this is going to be, so I'm just going with this. Ta-da! I got to the end. You know, there's a, there's a big mess of rope laying on the ground with me down here. Big mess. Okay. So. okay, so I'm also going to put a little drop of some red Loctite on here just to make sure it doesn't fall out somewhere down the line on the trail. I'm always like, I'm going to put one drop, and then I get a half a gallon. One drop. Okay, it's in. Okay, so you can see on the drum here as I'm winding it up, uh, I do believe that the base windings on the winch are probably the most crucial to get right. You wanna make sure that these are packed in nice and tight. You can see that I'm holding tension on the rope as I wind it. And as it goes around, we're keeping everything nice and tight uh, up against it there and we will continue to do exactly that. So the winch line is in. You can actually see it kind of tucked in down there, all wrapped up around the spool. Uh, the fair lead is in. I think it looks the business. So I like this big aggressive, like clevis style hook uh, that's on the end of this uh, that actually has this kind of rubber insulator or isolator that goes at the back of that. So when you pull all of this together, you can kind of cinch it up, tighten it up. So it keeps the winch line, which again, you can see in there, keeps it nice and tight and that's what you need. So I am very happy. So let's go ahead and close this out. This is done. At some point, uh, obviously, I'm gonna have to go out on the trail and I'll pull this out and I'll give you kind of an idea of, here's how it works and this is how much better it was because now I've done one winching exercise with this big heavy stuff. Uh, let's see how we can do with the synthetic rope. So thank you again to the guys at Vic Off-Road for sending this to me so I can put this in, check it out, and see how everybody loves it. I will undoubtedly give you a trail report at some point. We'll get out on the trail and we'll get this hooked up and see if we can't pull some trees down or get, uh, get old Janky stuck in the mud and use this to get out. I'm really happy that I did this. I'm really happy that the guys at Vic Off-Road reached out to me. I was just kind of unaware of how, how weak this factory steel cable is versus the synthetic. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit lighter. I don't think I'm gonna notice how much lighter it is. I mean, look at me, I could be a little lighter too. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you like this. Give me a thumbs up and uh, give me a subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and we'll see you on the next round.